So hi guys, welcome back to another video on the Zoe's Girls Zoe channel. I know that I haven't posted a video in a long time, I think like two or three weeks now. But um, this video, I was waiting to do this video, and this is going to be an Easter basket stuff haul kind of video thing. So pretty much let's do just to get started, I'm trying to make this as short as possible. So I think what I'm going to do is show you everything, and then I'm going to pick out a few of the things that I'm going to try on camera. So let's get started with the chocolate. So this is all of the chocolates I got. I, I'm not the biggest fan ever of chocolate, but um, I, I could go for a chocolate bunny or two. So these are exactly the same, just the packages are different colors. And these are like the... Crunch Bar Chocolate Rabbit. And these, this is like the same thing. It's a Crunch Bar, but it's bunny money. Um, so it's just like money, but it has a bunny on it. Um, so that's all the chocolate I got. Now we're going to go on to the candy. So starting, we have this gummy carrot. Okay, so sorry about this, but um, on to the candy, as I said. This is the Gummy Carrots candy, and it looks gross, but for some reason I think it's going to taste good. I don't know, like, if the flavors vary from the color, because it's, like, orange and green. I don't know, but I that might be one of the ones that I try on camera. It depends. The next one is something that I've never had. I've had the original lemon heads. I've never had the chewy or the tropical. This is the tropical kind. I'm sorry, this is going to be backwards for you, I think, but, um... It, it just says the tropical suited fruit flavor. So it says there's berry banana, wild strawberry, pink lemonade, um, peach mango, and berry banana. So those are different flavors. I also might try this one on camera. But I, I haven't really decided which ones I want to try on camera yet. But um, on to the next things. So this is just some Hubba Bubba Max chewing gum. This is strawberry watermelon flavored, so that looks good. I think I'm going to eat that till later. Or chew it, I mean. I eat gum. Um, so there was one thing that I got that I will not be showing in this video. It is this motion-activated parrot collar. Um, and it just makes the most annoying noise ever, so I don't think I'm going to put that in the video. I might put, like, a little clip where you can hear it making noise, but um, I'll probably cut most of that out. Um, so this is, these are Skittles, but this is um, a really, like, special kind, I guess you could say. Because it says it's the dark side Skittles, and they all sound, like, really weird, I guess. Or like really dark. So there's forbidden fruit, dark berry, blood orange, midnight lime, and pomegranate. So those are all like in like darker names, I guess. I don't even know. Um I always I also got these chewy sour chewy cubes and they're warheads. I and mean, they're Easter flavors. So there's green apple, watermelon, and black cherry. I never had any kind of warhead thing because I was told they were like so sour, but I don't know if these will be as sour because they're like gummies. But um, I'm not sure yet. Um, so the next thing I got here, I'll try to open it here, but I might have to cut this out, me opening this because this takes me a long time. These are This is a jumbo egg filled with lollipop rings. So I think that's pretty cool. There's three in there, so I think I'll come back when I've opened this and show you guys those. Okay, so I have op I've taken the wrapper off of the egg, and it's like this really cool translucent egg. I can see something kind of yellow through there, so I'm going to open it up. But that wasn't very secure. Okay, on to the first one. This is actually kind of creepy. It's um like this kind of chicken, I guess. And it's pretty creepy, honestly. I think these might have gotten a little bit deformed. This one looks like a rooster a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see that because it's in plastic. I don't want to take it out. And I think this one might have gotten deformed. It might have been a frog or something, but it's like, I don't even know what happened to these. I think all of them are a bit deformed. They might have, like, melted a little bit or something, but it's not that hot. So I am not completely sure about that, but I don't know. I hope they still taste good. Um, so I'm just going to put these out to the side now. We're going to go on to the next thing. I think there might be a little bit of candy left. Oh, yeah, there's a few different candy left. Um... So, I have these um, bubblegum eggs, which I get every single year. I want to open these up 
Um, I think I'm going to try these on camera just because it's like a piece of bubble gum. I'll probably try them last on camera. But these are the cutest things you've ever seen. So this has the logo, which is bubblegum eggs. But if you look there, they're the cutest little things ever. It's in a tiny carton as well, which makes it even cuter. I don't know if you can tell what cute this is, but I love it. Um, and it comes with four packs of 12 in each. One, actually, one, two, three. Yeah, 12 in each pack, and there's four of them. They are really tiny, but they're still so cute. I, th I, I think every year I've just, like, kept one of them and, like, put them on my desk because they're, like, so adorable. I don't know. I would just do that. It's kind of weird. But the last candy that is here is this Sour Ropes candy, and it's called Sour Dudes, Sour Straws. They're um, pretty much like the same as the name brand one, which I can't really remember what that is. Um, if any of you guys know that, you can comment down below. But um, this is like the off-brand one, but it still tastes really good. I've had them before. So I'll probably try these on camera too because they're sour. Probably going to try like all the sour ones on camera just so you can see my reaction, but I don't know. Um, so now we are on to the things that, the things that aren't candy at all. So, um, pretty much just like kind of little toys, kind of. Not all of them are toys, so. So, we're just going to move on to the stuff that isn't candy. And let's get started. So, the first thing that's here is this squishy. Um, I got this squishy. It's a United States squishy. And for some people that have something that's kind of like this, it is a stress ball. But this one isn't a stress ball. This one's actually a squishy. As you can see here, a stress ball is like less spongy and squishy, but this one's like super squishy. So, yeah, that's my squishy. The next thing that I had that I really wanted for a really long time is something that will go very nicely with my little eggs on my desk. Is this super cute little um, glow in the dark desk lamp? Um, one thing I like about this is. Um, it's so cool. So you keep it sitting in the light all day um, so that it can absorb the light. And then you can keep it out at night and it will glow, which is really cool. I haven't used it yet, um, but I will be using it. Um, the next thing is this super cute little headband here. I'm just going to come up with a tag. But um, it's a really cute little flower headband. And I really like that. I'll probably be wearing that later today. The next thing is really cool. I didn't even know what it was at first, but it is a plant that grows, sprouts, and produces seeds in only two months. So that's pretty cool. And it's a mustard plant. So I'm wondering if I can get me some mustard. I don't like mustard, so, so I'm probably not going to get some mustard. Um, a few more things we have here. This is amazing sand. It's kind of like, I don't know what the, the name brand type is, but this is like an off-brand it's amazing sand. There's one that it's it's not kinetic sand, but it's like the sand that you can play with underwater. This is the same exact thing. You can just play with it underwater, it'll mold, and then if you take it out from the water, it'll be completely dry, which I think is pretty cool. Um I'll probably do like a different video on that one just because um it's a little bit like harder to do um with my camera. So I'll probably do its own video on that. Um on to the next thing. Oh, I think I forgot some candy in my basket. Oh, no, I'll just show that last. Um, the next thing is this, um, this lip sugar. And I'm going to open this up now just because it is so very cute. It comes with two different packs of lip sugar. One of them is a star, one of them is a heart, um, which I really like. And they're so cute. Like, they are so portable. You can just take them on the go everywhere. I can take these to school. They're shimmer. And shimmer watermelon is what they are. And I really like them. They're really cute. I can just carry these around in my book bag or in my purse if I'm going out. So, yeah. Um, that's those. I'll just show you guys the candy that I forgot because I forgot that. So, these are candy and egg, but they're not any ordinary candy. <laughs> they are Disney candy. So, this one, you can see they're a little, like, chalk can Not chalk. Why I say chalk? Not like chalk, but like the texture is kind of like chalk, but it tastes really good. Um, so you can see like little princess heads, like that's the Sleeping Beauty, that's Belle, and that's Cinderella. Um, 
so that's pretty cool. And then this other one, this one's pink. So this one, the blue one, is this one is just little SpongeBob and Patrick's. These are so adorable. I like the Patrick's a lot. If you can see that, I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera that well, but you can see the shape. Kind of see SpongeBob there, but you can kind of see. You can't really see the details because they're really tiny in person. But um, yeah, those are super cute, and I'm gonna taste some of those. Um, on to the last things that aren't candy, I believe, until we try some, are uh, these packs of cards. So, do not quote me on these, but they're just like cute little packs of cards. I don't know. They're like kind of like trading cards. Um, so, the first pack here, I guess I'll just show you guys. These are sticker cards. These are Garbage Pail Kids, which are like the remakes of um, Cabbage Patch Kids. So pretty much, yeah, that's those. You can kind of see this, like they all look like deformed and messed up. So I'm gonna open these up, see how cool they look. Um, I'm gonna have to cut these open. But these are stickers, so I don't really think they're trading cards, but you might be able to trade stickers. I don't know what you do. Okay, so the first one, Jugular Jeff. Kind of creeped out by it, but you know, whatever. This next one is called Loaded Logan. So he kind of looks like a werewolf kid. And he's got like a bunch of tools coming out of his fingers. Loaded Logan, there you go. That's that one. This one is Trashy Tony. He kind of looks like a messed up Iron Man. Man. And then the last one here is called Picture Prescott, and he kind of looks like he's like hammering his finger, like on the picture. I don't know. I don't, honestly, these don't look like they're stickers. Oh, they have things on the back, and then it shows their parents. Okay, so this one says wanted. Um, this is Trashy Tony's dad. It says wanted for wearing too much jewelry. Darren Man. Super villain. Also guilty of the following crimes. Making Ringo Starr jealous. Being an actor, not a real villain. And hating chocolate. That's kind of cool. The next one is this loaded Logan guy's dad and it says wanted for hunting off season it says saber to Tyler um, super villain also guilty of the following crimes cruelty to Wolverine to hanging around long after extinction and sniffing animal droppings for tracking pur purposes um, jugular Jeff on the back of him just says be a garbage pail Kid winner, Jeff Turner, welcome to the family. Um, not sure about that one. But, yeah, so those was that. The back of this one means if you collect nine of these special kind of cards, it makes a picture, I guess. So that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll try that if I get any more. But, yeah, those were the Garbage Pail Kids cards. On to these Webkins trading cards. These are kind of cool. This come, These come with two... Two packs of five cards and a code, and a code comes with it. So, like, if you play that Webkins online game, which I used to. Okay, so these I just opened it up. It's two packs. Um, one of these is Anastasia, which I'm kind of confused by. I don't know, but this is a Webkins series two, which is what I'm going to be opening here. So. Um, these look pretty cute, honestly. All of these Webkins do. Um, so these Webkins cards are actually for a game that you play with these cards. I am not, um, exactly. Oh, so this is the rules, I guess, right here. If you want to play this game, you can, like, screenshot it right now or something. I don't know, but, um, I got these at the Dollar Tree, I think. So you can just get those wherever, really. 
Um, I haven't seen these around though. Um, before, before I went there. So these really just look like you kind of like trade them, play some kind of game with them. I'm not completely sure on that, but um, that's pretty much what it is. I'm not going to be opening these since I don't really know of this Anastasia. I know it was a movie, I'm pretty sure. But I am going to open The Hunchback of Notre Dame um, because this is one of my favorite movies um, at my summer camp that I went to. So, um, like, honestly, I don't remember most of these pictures. You can just look at them, and then it tells you about them on the back. That's the same for all of them. Um, honestly, I haven't watched that movie in forever. These are ones that you can color yourself, which I think is really cool. There's two of them here. Then there's that evil guy there. This one I am not sure on. It says... You can mix match the top and the bottom of these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that right here. Um, like just kind of break the card. You don't break it all the way, but you you just kind of remove the top from the bottom, I guess. Um, so you remove it, and then you can mix match the top and the bottom so that they look really weird, I guess. So, like, he looks weird with, like, the wrong pants and everything. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. I guess that's kind of cool. This comes with, like, some actual things, not just, like, regular cards. And I also read that, um, oh, so there's some coins from the movie, which is also really cool. So, some coin cards. And then here is... Here's a finger or pencil puppet, which is kind of cool. You can just, like, kind of move them around. This is, I don't know exactly, I think it's like some kind of like stand up, something like that that you can use in your little play that you make with these cards, but that was pretty cool, it came with like some other things besides cards, which I think is cool. Um, so now we're going to be going on to the part where I try some of this stuff on camera, I showed you everything that I got in my... Easter baskets. I actually got two because it didn't fit all in one. If you do want to see me open these Anastasia cards, you can just comment down below and I'll make like a really short video of me opening those. Um, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to go ahead and get to that part now. Let's just put everything in my other basket here. Okay, so I think I'm going to try a few of these things. Um... So first I'm going to go ahead and try these sour dudes because I have had these before and they're pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and try one. I'm going to have this blue one. It's okay. I mean, it's really sour right now, but it's okay. I do recommend... I do recommend the name brand time because this one has kind of a weird aftertaste, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like the best. It's a really weird aftertaste, actually. And I think the next thing I'm going to try are these Warheads Sour because I know that Warheads are a name brand, so I'm hoping they'll be a little bit better. Go ahead and open this up. This is also Easter limited edition, so I've never had these before. But they look good. I can't smell them. They kind of they're just like little cubes, which I think is cool because I've never had a cube-shaped candy before. If you're wondering what some of that noise is, um my nana is just cooking some breakfast right now, I think. So that's kind of what the noise is, but so I think I'm going to try a red because I've always heard that red is the most sour out of all candies. So these are so cute too. They're like little cubes. They're like not circles like it's coming up on the camera, but they're actual cubes. Maybe you can see it better in all here. Yeah, you can. Um, they're like actual cubes. Those are really cool. And it tastes really good. And it's really sour too. Um, but I think the sourness is kind of 
diluted by the gummy. But, I don't know, it's really good. I like that. Um, next thing I'm going to be trying here is this chewy lemon head thing. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to try it. And I think after this, um, I'll try one more thing and then I think the video will be over because since this is a pretty long video, I think it's going on 20 minutes right now. So, yeah. Gonna try one of these. I got pink lemonade. That's good, and it was a little sour too. Pretty good. So, I also just spilled some of them. You probably hear that. There goes another one. Okay, so, bye guys, I'll see you later.